Hi everyone, I just wanted to share this quick video with you about a new integration that we have with Brightspace. It's a program called Turnitin. Turnitin is actually a plagiarism checker, a plagiarism detector, and it will tell you the amount of unoriginal content in any sort of assignments that your students turn in through a Brightspace assignment drop box. So let's flip over to Brightspace and I'll show you how you can turn this on in your courses. So the first thing you need to do is log into Brightspace. Once you've logged in, go into one of your courses. And this all works through an integration that we have in the assignment drop box. So click on assignments. Assignments is really the place where your students are going to submit their work and hand in their work. So to create an assignment drop box, we'll scroll down a little bit here and we'll click on new assignment. If you've used this before, you'll see over here on the fourth tab, there's a new tab that says turn it in. So to create an assignment drop box, you need to give it a name. You can give some further instructions here if you want to. You can attach, do whatever you need to do in here, attach documents, videos, or anything like that. You actually don't even have to put anything in the instructions. And really, there's not much else you need to do here. The only other thing I might recommend is giving a, a category, like maybe it's math, maybe it's unit one, maybe it's language, whatever you want to call it. And that's all you really need to do. But to activate Turnitin, you're going to go back up to the top over to the fourth tab here and click on Turnitin. And there isn't much you need to do here either. All you need to do is click on originality check. And that's going to enable originality check for this folder. And so what that means is any submission from any student into this Dropbox will get scanned through Turnitin. And it will create a report in the end that tells you how much of that content in that assignment is not original. The only other choice you might want to make is to allow the students to see their scores of their unoriginal versus original work. I like to let them see it and I really like to use Turnitin as a teachable tool to let them know how to cite properly, to let them know how they should have used quotes or whatever else they should have done inside of there. And there isn't much else you need to do here. So once you've turned on originality check, given it a title, turned on originality check, just press save and close. Now your students would come in and submit to that Dropbox just like uh, they have done in the past. If you're not sure how students submit to a Dropbox, let me know. Check out my YouTube channel and there's some other videos on how students will submit to an assignment Dropbox. But for our purposes today, I've already had my pretend student come in and submit three different things into three different Dropboxes. One was a PDF, one was a doc, and one was a file from Google Drive. And once you've got Turnitin Originality Check turned on, you can see in your Dropbox that those are turned on right here beside the Dropbox title. And you can see that I've got three new submissions in here. Now I can click on that Dropbox and I can see all of my students listed. I only have one. You should have more students listed here. And you can see that assignment has run through the originality checker. Doesn't even take that long. It takes a few minutes. And it's given me a report saying it's yellow. There's some caution here that about 41% of this is plagiarized. So I can click on that. And if I've allowed the student to see it, they can click on it as well. And it'll now open up that document inside of Turnitin and show me what was not original in this document and it's pretty cool how it, it highlights it gives you notes on it tells you where what website they found it on so it's a really interesting tool it's really valuable for you as a teacher and i think it's a really great teaching tool as well and it's really up to you how you'd like to use it with your class but it's definitely something valuable that you can use and i would say obviously for older grades maybe grade six seven and on on the side you can see other options over here it'll give you a list of the different websites that it found and how it found the score of 41 it will show you the different websites that it found that information on and it can give you a few other options to download and things like that there are some other options here where you can filter out things and exclude quotes or exclude the bibliography that's really up to you how you want to filter out and, and see what you can find but those are your basic options here inside of Turnitin so you can really see what's been copied where it's from just so I can show you I did run through a few different types of documents and they all turned up a similar score pretty close uh, in some ways but a little bit different so any type of file is working so far through here like I said a PDF a doc from a Microsoft Word and then a file from Google and it will take that file from Google and turn it into a PDF so this is a, a similar file that I, I added from Google Drive. It turned it into a PDF, and now I can click on that report, and it'll produce a report as well. It'll do different kinds of files. should be no trouble having these reports done for your students. So there you have it. That's just a quick overview of Turnitin Originality Checker, how you can turn it on in any of your assignment drop boxes, and then the reporting that you'll see afterwards. Pretty awesome. Uh, and again, great teaching tool for your students uh, to show them really how work should be cited and how assignments shouldn't be copied from the internet. Take care, enjoy, 
as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.